This was a Copart purchase. This is my 1998 Forerunner. Uh, it's a Copart purchase and it was a mistake. So I bought this kind of on a whim. It's my second Copart vehicle. My first one was a uh, 2011 all-wheel drive Mini Countryman. And that one turned out to be a pretty decent deal. I had to uh, put a new bumper on it and straighten out the hood and do a full clutch job on it. Otherwise, it was a good car. I drove it for a while. This thing was a prior salvage, which uh, is where I got myself into some trouble. So it was it was an insurance vehicle, but uh, in Wisconsin, if you have a salvage vehicle and you get it back on the road, you have to have it inspected, and they do a safety inspection on it, and they go through everything. It takes about an hour for them to go through and do an inspection of the car. So prior salvage in Wisconsin, it's not a big deal. You know it's been fixed right, and everything's usually in decent shape. This thing, on the other hand, was the prior salvage in Minnesota. There's no safety inspection in Minnesota. And it was really cobbed together badly when they fixed it the first time. So I'll just kind of show you a few things about it. Um, runs great, drives pretty good. One of the big problems is there's no airbags in it. They just stuck some covers on it after the first time it was salvaged, just to make it look decent. Your hatch is broken right now, not a big deal. But the big thing is, it's got some frame damage that's pretty bad. And they also did a really poor job of fixing the front of it. And get the hood open. So I don't have any pictures of the first accident I was in, but it must have been pretty severe because it was, as I said, both airbags were blown and they just put covers on them. They redid this complete inner fender and just hacked it together. All this stuff over here is just sitting here, it's not even, a lot of it's not even bolted down. My original plan for this thing was to uh, use it for my new Colorado camping rig and kind of replace the VX with this. But a Suzu runs good and everything, it's just too small for what I want to do with it. All right, so up here, I don't know if you can see this. I had some frame repair here. And they just put some body filler over it to kind of hide it. They just walled it back together where it was torn. And bonded it over it. So the front end does not sit correct. It really sits in an odd, has an odd stance because one side is the frame still not straight and it's really it sits funny. Otherwise the front of it looks pretty good. I mean it's 
everything works on it. Four wheel drive works great, drives pretty well. Needs exhaust. But with that frame damage, I just don't think it's worth doing much with. So now I'm kind of stuck with this thing. Trying to decide what to do with it. I think I'm just gonna either junk it or sell it back to Copart and they can do whatever they do with it. In any case, I paid too much for it. I paid about $800 for it. And then by the time the auction fees were done, I've got about $1,200 into it. Like I said, it runs good. It drives decent. It just pulls like crazy to one side because of the... I assume nothing lines up in the front. I can't get it titled in Wisconsin because of the previous frame damage and the poor repair job and also there's no airbags. So there's no way to get this pass in Wisconsin without doing some major work to it and it's just not worth that. If you live in Minnesota, yeah you could just title this thing and drive it as is. It would be at your own risk knowing that there's no airbags and that the frame has been repaired poorly. Probably be fine, it's been on the road for several years like this. Not really too bad though. I had high hopes for it. See, they did a lot of frame repair on this thing. This is a subframe. They just patched it back together, welded it up, and put some bondo over it. This subframe is actually stuck some bolts up there. See a bolt head right there. One on each side, and they did weld those in the frame to try and reinforce it, I guess. And bondoed over the whole thing. That holds the rack and actual A arms. That's probably why it goes down the road so crooked. Job of bolting that rack in place after they did the repairs. We have the washers on there. It does look like a new rack. Completely. Oh, it's just a washer. Here's the other frame repair. Ongo job. Sway bar because they can bolt it in. Just sitting there. So, what do you do with this thing, guys? It's not worth fixing.
here is really in pretty good shape. Could use a good cleaning. It's too bad, this could have been a really good rig. So now I'm on the hunt for something else, but uh, I think this will be my last coal part purchase. And I'm not blaming those guys, just to be clear. I know it's my own damn fault for not going and checking the thing out. I'm just bidding on it sight unseen. You gotta be careful with this stuff, guys. walk around with you guys. The run's pretty good. It's been sitting for a long time. I think that's why it's sidling a little rough. We did a quick spray on these, this door and thunder before we looked at the frame, which is uh, probably not a good idea. Waste of time. It's got a nice high stance. Tires are all good. I had a little erratic right now. I think that's just because it's been sitting for months. Need some exhaust work. The back hatch needs to work. It doesn't stay closed. It doesn't latch. Interior is in pretty decent shape. It needs to be cleaned. Bags. They just put covers over it. See, there's all kinds of lights on. Nothing for the motor, just all for airbags. <laughs> 